thanks for watching Didi Croy with my favorite groomer on YouTube. <laughs> so we're we're home now and uh, we've got the trailer with us right now. We went and picked it up. We park it at a different location. I know some of you guys have been wanting to see the trailer outside of just grooming. And David was like, I wanna come. So say hi, David. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna give you a tour, a quick tour of the trailer. It's nothing big or anything like that. I got the trailer. My parents helped me get the trailer and I still am paying them back. Um, it helps me get to those dogs that can't go, can't leave their house anymore. Uh, would I want a hundred thousand dollar trailer? Yeah, I'd probably, I probably would. Um, financially, just can't, couldn't make it, couldn't swing that. Okay, one person show, one person groomer. It's just really tough. You got to work really hard. So this is my trailer. It's uh, for sale, fifteen thousand cash. Um, you can take the truck with it if you really want to. Um, it's a really nice truck. Okay, two thousand fourteen Sierra. Okay, here we go. We're gonna start in the back. Fifteen thousand for the truck and Not, the trailer. No, it's fifteen thousand just the trailer. Okay. okay, let's make sure you know that. So you guys can pick up the trailer in Texas, and uh, we may or may not have it in Vegas with us in June. So reach out to us. Fifteen thousand cash, and it could be yours. So I have, um, I bought it used, and I actually bought it from a. I know some groomers. Some groomers are real cool, and some are not. Okay, so I bought it from a, uh, a groomer that bought it from a groomer that I knew. And so it, it really worked, and, and I really wanted to buy her trailer when it was empty. I just didn't know how to put everything together. And then she fired, she sold it to someone who did, a uh, teacher, fire, uh, teacher, police officer, woman, groomer, and then her husband is forced to the fire department. So I bought my trailer through them out in Weatherford. And it's got a water tank. This is clean water. You can actually remove it. It's pretty heavy right now because I just filled it up. Then you have your two uh, dark, uh, dark tanks. Those are for dirty water. Um, you can close them or open them or release them or however you want to do that. Uh, when you're parking in Texas, you got to put a cone out. It's got a vacuum system. I hate using the vacuum system. I would rather, I'm old school, I'd rather just sweep it up and be done instead of vacuuming and coming back here and emptying it out. It's totally up to you, but we, we use it sometimes anyway. I have an extra hose, some extension cords so you can run your to your uh, landline. Uh, we have a water pump here. The water pump actually cycles through the cycles the clean water through the water heater, fills it up, and then through that into the tub. Uh, the water heater is a, I believe that this is an eight-gallon tank. So, give or take, winters, you know, they're not the most perfect. You got to get up early and warm up your tank, depending on how cold it is. This is a, this is not a um, hundred thousand dollar trailer. Okay, there's a difference. Uh, there's new tires on all the way around. And I actually put the new fenders on, but I had a tire blowout. So that the tire blowout actually ruined this fender a tiny bit. But it's just, it's just the way it looks. I didn't know this, but the fenders actually, when you're driving down the road and you don't have a fender that covers up the wheel, if you run through mud, it just flicks it up and hits other cars, and you can cause damage to other vehicles. So that's why the fenders definitely needed. Those are actually brand new, except for that. What that happened? You blow a tire, man, you're assed out. Okay, so be careful. Um, we'll go to the front. I don't have anything on now, but the generator is in front. You fill up the generator, turn everything, turn the generator on, and everything starts running, okay? Uh, can you have, it's just like any machine, it can fail. So you gotta know how to work the failures. You gotta know, so I've, had, I've gone through a few failures with this trailer. We got a, a, a new, brand new uh, lawn pump. That's what that is, a lawn pump. It's brand new. Um, we changed out some of the hosing so there's no leakage. You know, minor things start to happen. If you are not a little bit mechanical, working by yourself in a trailer like this, maybe not for you, but if you have a husband, boyfriend, friend, friend of the family that can help you if you have run into any issues, you'll definitely call them up every now and then when you're having a, like an old school trailer. You can actually spray in here and clean it. They've got drain systems all throughout the floor. Um, I have an extra table and stuff in here, but I, I love it. Like I said, I'm old school, so everything goes in the trash. I always do a trash with a lid, so if you have a flea problem, you can contain it. And then when you get to a location where you can do a dump, dump your trash, okay? But a, a trash lid is important if you're grooming, okay? There's a reason why you want a lid for your trash. Uh, have bungee cords, because when you're traveling in a trailer, RV folks, you know what I'm talking about. Things go sliding, moving, jumping. So not, everything's vibrating in your trailer. So you don't ever leave anything hanging around or it's gonna break, you're gonna shatter it, okay? It doesn't matter what it is, even if it's metal. The only thing I've found that does great these tables are good up front, but the dog up stand will stay pretty stable uh, on the on the floor. Okay, so I have an old school broom. The tool case here, it, everything's lockable. 
actually don't really store my tools here because I'm always in the salon, but so we go to the salon and we, t we bring everything in here when we're about to mobile groom. We, I just have my bag of grooming tools and then we grab the dryer. I always have a backup dryer and that's in here. My backup dryer is the Air Force Commander. That's that orange one, the little orange one. That is my backup dryer. So you guys who have ordered the, the really expensive dryer from me, Double K, that's my backup dryer. And on a Labradoodle, it's gonna take an hour to dry by hand. Kinda sucks, maybe 50 minutes. So I don't like to use that very often, but you do need a back, here's a heater as well, and some cleaner stuff. You do need a backup in everything you do. You need a backup clipper, you need a backup dryer, just trust me, you don't want to be out on the road and you can't get the job done because your dryer broke. And it will happen. If it can happen, it will. All right, so we have, um, due to the amount of things that you have plugged into the generator, I chose to go with the pump hydraulic table. I hate it, okay? I, I hate it. I would, I would rather one day sell this, I probably will, and then get an electrical one in here because I realize uh, I think we'll be okay with the electrical one in here. But when you're running a generator, if you don't know, you'll be watching how much ampage you'll be doing. So like for instance, if I turn the light on and I turn the water on, the water pump on, and I turn the water heater on, and I do, you know, if I do all these things at once, I'll blow the circuit. I'll have to get out and go turn everything back on. I'll just like blowing a fuse in your house. Too much ampage into one area. And I'm not an electrician, so I, I might sound like I don't know what I'm talking about, but I do get it how to run this trailer. Uh, I just might not be explaining it properly. Okay, so you turn the generator on and there's a few steps that you're gonna do is like do one thing. I try to just do one thing at a time, just to be safe. Cause I don't wanna blow something, okay? And blow something, I mean just like hit a, it blows a fuse and I have to get out and just turn it back on. Like there's a safety net of not damaging that generator. I, I think it's not gonna just blow up or something like that. But the, there's hanging hooks and stuff like that. You have your water heater, your vacuum switch, your bathing system switch, which is just turning on the water off and on. Um, the bathtub here, got cleaner. I always carry, a, even though I'm not mandated to carry it out, I always carry a fire extinguisher in case I have to help somebody else out. Um, shampoo, conditioner, flea shampoo. Again, always have your flea stuff, right? The table is strapped down because if it wasn't, the other option is just, the lady I bought it from had it screwed to the wall. And you guys know I hate grooming against a wall, so. I, I, I just strap it down with that strap and then when I get there I set up and I can walk around the dog all the way around the table. So that's that part. Um, am I missing anything, David? No. This has the AC. I have yet to really work the heater. I have that little heater in there so I don't know if there's anything wrong with the heater. I don't work, I don't use it and I don't uh, try to use it. It just, I've never tried, like it doesn't come on or it doesn't, I just don't even use a heater. But those things are a few thousand dollars and just have them serviced, they're, they're pretty high up there. So if you're gonna, if you need a heater or something like that outside of that little one that I have, then you would probably wanna replace it and that may be a, a few thousand dollars. It's just like an RV AC. But the AC works great, man. Okay, anytime you're on the road though, things, some, some kind, sometimes things are kinda loud. All right, come out, open it up and so you guys get an idea. So when we get ready for a mobile grooming, we've got to make sure we've got water filled up, our generator is full of gas. We mapped out our location so that you don't waste it any time at all going mobile. You're going like a full circle till you're back either home or back at the groom salon or back where you're going to drop off your trailer. So the trailer has a little bit of damage just from backing it up and tweaking the, the vehicle too tight, but it's still functioning. It still works great. So here's our generator. It's got all these plug-ins and on switches and off switches. Okay, I'm going to cover the generator up. We always travel with the cover on unless we just got done with the groom and it's really, the generator's really hot. And then we'll ride without it until we get to a cooler level on the generator itself. But I can't say it's gotten super hot, but it is like a little engine, a little motor, okay? Let me see it's really... David, go around there and ch check out the whole, uh, all the graphics on the trailer, would you? And then we'll call it a, a day. That's Duke. He's one of my boys that passed away. And um, when I close it up, you'll actually see Suey. My sister drew these, these little characters. Aren't those cute?
Everything's locked up. You always lock everything up. And then there's Sally and Suey. Sally was 21 when she passed away and I had rescued her and saved her for five years. She was in my care. I can't believe she outlived all of my, to my two Shih Tzus. All right, thanks for watching Dee Dee Croy and my, with my favorite groomer in YouTube and David. <laughs> thanks, we thank you very much for watching us. Let us know if you wanna buy a trailer. Um, and we'll see you in Vegas soon. Hey, hey you guys, it's Dee Dee Croy with my favorite groomer on YouTube. All right, so we have some uh, really cool news and I want to share with it, it with you. Okay, so uh, for those of you who I'm emailing, talking to, and you are near Las Vegas, so June 25th, 6th, 7th, we will be offering some one-on-one -on -one, uh, group sessions with Dee Dee and some one-on-one -on -one private sessions with Dee Dee. So it just depends on how much room I still have left. So if you go to our myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop, just hover over the shop icon and go to business services, uh, you'll be able to book it there. But I, I really, it's such a one-on-one. -on -one. If you want that one hour with me, I would prefer you um, call me or text me or email me and say, hey, Didi, how do I book this one-on-one? -on -one? And we will get on the phone and actually reserve you your slot. There will be a couple ways that you can uh, reserve your slots, so get me on the phone. Uh, go to myfavoritegroomer.com, get the number there, give me a call, text me, or email me, and I will call you back in a um, decent hour. But we are going to have some one-on-one -on -one, um, times available. Some of them are going to be on group sessions. It depends on the price that you're going to come out there for. But come with your questions. Uh, a lot of you are learning how to groom. A lot of you are grooming already. A lot of you have this list of questions you've emailed me. If you want me to talk to you about it face-to-face, -face, I'm offering my time. So let me know. And um, if you want to be a part of the, the group that's uh, hanging out together in uh, Vegas during that time frame, if you happen to be going to Vegas for that same time frame, the 25th of June through the 28th-ish, right around there, let me know. We'll all get the same t-shirts. So if you want to represent my favorite groomer or uh, the dog upstand, please let me know. I'm going to have some t-shirts ready so that you can uh, order them. You've got to order them. Probably it takes a week and a half to get the t-shirts. So if you are interested in getting the t-shirts so we can all, don't you all love that feeling like when we were at Pasadena and we all had the same shirt? I, I know I did. The A group of people that we believe the same thing, we all see the same way, and uh, we just are a part of that same, something identifying us as that same, uh, the same feeling of just love and adoration, and we just I, just, I just loved that. So if you guys wanna wear a shirt, let me know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start building my t-shirt now, and the link will be on my email. So if you email me or write me, then I, I'll get it to you. Even, in, and those of you, there were so many of you that did not go to Pasadena and you still bought a shirt and you wore it the, day, the days that we were at Pasadena in your home and I, I can't say thank you enough for that. Just know that we, the bond is there, the love is there and I appreciate you all so much. Uh, thanks for supporting me and David and thanks for doing everything you do for us, supporting us, um, shopping with us, sharing us. Those of you who don't have a pet, if you are in the Vegas area, um, by all means, I still want to meet you. So reach out. Um, they'll th keep in touch because I don't know that I will post a lot about the Vegas trip. But if you want to meet, if you, I, there's something that I'm going to do, there, there's going to be some uh, some group activities that we'll do, or at least one major group dinner or something like that. I would love to just be in the same room as you. Um, I care about you all so much, and you are. Um, the reason I'm here. So if you are interested in that, please, please, by all means, shoot out an email, a text, or get, just get a hold of me. You will not be invited if I do not hear from you. So I'm not going to publicize where I'm going to be, where, where, what we're doing to the world, because it is just definitely um, something I want to, it, like, you know, your little family, you want to keep them close and with love and care about people. So I will be... Um, letting you know if you directly contact me, I uh, will let you know what we're doing. So I need to know who you are, that type of thing. I wanna keep everyone safe, uh, as safe as I can, okay? In my care, that is, if you're gonna hang out with me, I wanna do the best I can, to, to, just like I do with the animals, uh, do the best I can for you guys, um, so that we can all share and uh, in a 
you have to have, if you're watching me, you can't be a hate talker. You can't be a negative, negative person. You have to be open, willing to learn. Uh, you have to be less judging. I know you all know who I'm talking about because the calls that I get that people really care about other people or learn, want to learn for themselves or want to learn for their own dogs or want to learn for their own business uh, who are uplifting, who are positive, who don't talk shit behind your back um, as another groomer, who really stand up for the right of the animal or the best that you can see someone doing. They're, those type of people, We all, if we're all in the same way of thinking, um, that's, you, you know who I'm talking about because you reached, you have reached out to me and I've helped you and we have made so much stride and we're talking hundreds and thousands of people that I have touched, uh, and helped personally and not, not to mention all the ones that have never called who have never needed my help, but have found uh, the YouTube video so helpful in their own world. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for being on uh, emailing me your stories. I really appreciate them and I do take them to heart and I, I make a connection with each and every one of you that does reach out. Uh, it may take me a month or two to get to you if you are only doing it through YouTube. And one day when there's millions and millions of comments, I may not be able to really touch base with you. So please, by all means, if you have a, a real question, if you have a question about your tools, about your pets, if you need my opinion, you've got to email me. Like you've got to take it to an email level, okay? to get a fast response. And it may be just the facts of things or my opinions written out. It may not be a very long detailed thing because I'm just doing a lot for many people. Um, but anyways, let's go back. If you want to meet with me, if you want to have a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, they are on my business services page on my website, myfavoritegroomer.com slash shop under business services. You can book it there. I would prefer you save a few bucks if you book it with me directly. So you'll have to call me or email me or text me and then I will send you an app. You can pay through the app and then we can definitely set up a time, either a private or a group session. It is very going to be small groups of people meeting. I don't plan on doing huge groups, a few small groups each night. And if the private one-on-ones take over, well, then they take over. So make your call and make your booking quickly. And David will probably load this as soon as possible so that y'all that are going to be in Las Vegas during that time frame can actually book it. One last thing I'd like to ask out there is if you're watching and you're a groomer and you have a salon in Las Vegas, I really want to talk to you. If you have a, maybe if you don't even have a salon, but if you have that aggressive dog, uh, a salon would be a better place to do this. But if you have that aggressive dog in Las Vegas, please reach out to me. Um, we can use that situation for training in one of our groups, excuse me, excuse me, I burped, group sessions. But um, if I can help you while I'm out there, I, by all means, I would love to uh, connect with you. So if, if that's you, you're like, oh my gosh, my dog is so aggressive or so hard to groom. I can't figure it out, you know, um, things like that. Uh, give me a call, okay? And we will talk. If you have a salon and you are watching me and you are a fan and you uh, think the same way I do as a groomer and and you get what I'm saying and the work that I do, then call me. Uh, my number is on the website at myfavoritegroomer.com. And uh, again, if you come to these group sessions, I am looking for, you know who I'm looking for, the people who love, have care, um, who are not negative and... Uh, it will support others and you come with questions and you come with the open-mindedness that each of us, including myself, we are, we don't know everything. And there's way more ways to do one thing than there is my way. So if you come with an open mind, sharing, no judging, judging means like, Oh, you're ugly or you're fat or I hate you or, uh, I don't like the way you do that. Screw you. No, that's not the way I function. That's not the way I think. I'm very direct, truthful, firm, loving, and I will be there for you when you need. I'm the, like that friend that you've always wanted, right? The one that's never going to let you down. Uh, I don't turn on my back on you and talk shit about you. I may use your situation as an example to someone just like you, but it's always good to know that you have someone, whether it's another groomer that you can call that won't judge you and hate on you, that will answer some questions you might have. And I may not even have all the answers, but at least you can... Sit down at a round table and chit chat about how you should do something better and how you should approach something. That's how you should come across 
with other people, other groomers, other human beings in life. So if you are interested in booking with me, please uh, give us a call, give us a, a, you know, shoot out an email, but thank you so much, you all. You mean so much to me, and I'm just so grateful to be able to help each and every one of you. So we'll talk to you later. Please book.